Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm finally decluttering all of my single shadows. I currently have like four big Z palette type palettes full of shadows, and then I have two smaller palettes. One is a custom palette from MAC, and then one is just a smaller palette that I actually use to put together the shadows for my I made a palette for my favorite book video. I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to check it out. But we have plenty of shades to go through and I think this is going to be a savage declutter because A, I hardly reach for my singles and B, I really want to reorganize all of my Z palettes because I think four Z palettes for shades that I hardly reach for is a bit much. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of declutters. And if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me just show you the palettes that I have real quick. We looked at that MAC palette already. This is that other small palette right here. This is a Z palette that I have with all of the shades from my recreated Morphe 35K palette. Actually, towards the beginning, or a lot, a while ago on my channel, I actually had a project where I wanted to depot the Morphe 35K and really just narrow it down to the shades that I thought it should have been. And I recreated it and I believe this is more of like an 18K instead of a 35K. I was really proud of that video. I was, I had a lot of fun doing that. Depotting that palette was a pain in the butt, but quite honestly, I used this smaller palette for about a month after I depotted it and then I have not touched it since. So I think I just need to declutter this entire thing, all of the shades. I don't reach for them. The Morphe shadows, some of them are great, some of them suck. I just don't want to clutter up an entire Z palette with a Morphe palette that I depotted that I'm not reaching for. So that's right out of the gate. That's 18 shades that's just going to go. And just for reference, I do have like a little empty Z palette right here. I'm going to do my best to put in all of my shades that I'm decluttering. And then I'm going to see if, I mean, single shades are a little bit harder to like pass along to people because not a lot of, you know, your average makeup users will go for single shades. But I'm going to see if anyone in my friends and family would be interested. If not, I'm probably going to just toss these. I mean, especially the Morphe ones. I don't want to push the Morphe ones onto anybody. <laughs> so that's one nice little Z palette emptied out. I'm not going to declutter any of these singles. These were all mentioned in that book video that I mentioned earlier. I go through the specifics of all the shades in that video, so if you're interested, you can check that out. Um, but since I do enjoy these shades, I am going to hold on to all of these. This is my custom MAC palette. I actually went into a MAC store with my boyfriend a few months ago and we, I really wanted to make a green palette and we were both at the mall and we passed by MAC and I'm like, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and do it. They were unfortunately sold out of a lot of the green shades, but my boyfriend and I sat down for almost an hour and was just swatching a bunch of different shades and playing with colors. And this is the palette that we created. I'll go ahead and I'll throw a picture up of all of the names of these shades because this packaging is actually kind of a pain in the butt to like get the shades out to see the names on the bottom. So I just wrote down all of the shade names. I really enjoy these. They're my only single shadows from MAC. I don't really see myself buying any more MAC singles in the future because I'm really happy with the ones that I have right here. Ooh, so this Z palette right here has quite a few Davina shadows and ColourPop singles as well. These two big shadows right here in the corner, they're both technically highlighters, but I haven't really used them as highlighters because I've just been keeping them in my single shadow section. The Davina bundle that's in here was actually the one that they came out with for the, um, they duped like that Tarte April Fools palette and came out with a beautiful bundle of shades and so definitely that I picked up and I've actually been loving the shades. I do want to rearrange them better because I feel like just having a bunch of like random blues in here isn't inspiring. 
I do want to put them together with some other shades and rearrange them just to make it more of a cohesive palette. Honestly, I do think having these shades and a white in one of my other Z palettes kind of makes this white over here obsolete. This is the shade Blow. I'm going to declutter this one just because I don't need that many stark white shades in my singles. Let's go ahead and just go through the shades real quick. So this is Verity from Davina. This one right here is Vanilla from Davina. This shade is Candy, also from Davina. This is Naval, or Naval, I hope I said that right. This shade is Jaded. This shade is I'm Just a Dandelion, and honestly, it's such a unique, like, duochrome shade that I love. Another shade that I love is STFU, and this is just the just most beautiful stark like royal blue shade that I've seen inside or outside of a palette, like ever. This shade right here is Cupid from Davina. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but swatched out. I didn't want to swatch all the shades in this video because this video would be over an hour long, but I'll swatch a couple here and there. It looks gorgeous on the eye and swatched out. So I am holding on to that one. This is the shade Bluster from Davina. It's kind of similar to that blue one we have over here in the corner, but this one's just a little bit darker and more muted. This lovely bright teal right here is Mist from Davina and I love it. It's just gorgeous. We finally made it to a ColourPop shade. This is the shade Deja Vu from ColourPop, and I just felt like it really fits in with the color story that we have right here. Let's go through the highlighters real quick. The two highlighters that I have are Rapture from Davina. Oh my god, that just fell out. Oh Jesus. Oh god, can I... Oh shit, can I flip you back in. Oh, I kind of did it. Oh god, okay. Okay, so I just absolutely destroyed this highlighter by dropping it, but this is another Divina highlighter that I need to try and fix. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so I'm not 100% sure how this happened, but I end up with two of the same ColourPop shades. I have two of the shade Backstage from ColourPop, and it's just a, like, royal matte blue. I don't know if like one came in a bundle and then I bought it single or if I just happened to buy two singles. Either way, I have two of them and I'm getting rid of one. <laughs> the shade right here is Formation from ColourPop and I got a little bit of that Davina highlighter right there on it that I will clean off. But this is a really pretty just matte teal that looks really nice with this shade right here from Davina. The next shade that I have is Slayfair from ColourPop. It's a little bit of a muted kind of seafoam green. I'm not a huge fan of it, and it looks fairly similar to these two shades up here from Davina. So I'm gonna go ahead and clutter this one. The last shade that I have in here is Baseline from ColourPop, and honestly, it looks really similar to the shade up here from Davina. Let me get both of those side by side. I'm gonna go with the ColourPop. So I'm gonna actually throw the ColourPop up here and I'm gonna declutter the shade Verity from Davina because they're very similar, but I do like the fact that the ColourPop one isn't as chalky as this Davina one. Oh, so pretty good for that palette. My goal is really to fill this with a bunch more colorful shades and to make a more approachable go-to colorful palette. Poof. So this is another Z palette and I can definitely get rid of quite a few of these shades. So let's just, let's turn this down a little bit more so we can see this better. So a decent amount of these are more depotted Morphe shades from different Morphe palettes and those I'm just going to automatically get rid of because I don't reach for them and they're not the best. So this is from a Morphe palette. That one's gonna go. This is actually a shade from Luxie Beauty. It's called Bougie, and I really like this one, even though it's fairly neutral. So we're gonna keep that one. However, the one right next to it looks very similar. This is the ColourPop shade, Save It For Later. It's very similar to that Luxie shade, so that one's gonna go. This next shade is Snake Eyes from ColourPop, and I do like that one. They do look a bit similar, but the undertones are different for those two shades. So I'll hold on to that one. 
This next shade is Crush from Luxy Beauty, and it oh, it looks just like the Snake Eyes shade. Let me swatch these two. Oh my god, they're like exact dupes. Oh, get out of here. Okay. I do like the way that the Luxy one felt better. So I'm gonna get rid of the ColourPop shade, and we're gonna keep that Luxy shade right up there. Oh, we're doing really good so far. Okay. This shade up here is a matte. This is Firefly from ColourPop. I love just having one matte neutral shade in a single to kind of round out palettes when I need them rounded out. This next row is all beautiful greens from ColourPop and Davina. I'll go through each one, but I'm not gonna get rid of any of them. I really do like these greens. The first one is Sideline from ColourPop right here. The next one is Spectral from Davina. It's a beautiful forest green. The next one I have is Willow from Davina, another gorgeous dark green with a little bit of shimmer in it. Oh, don't drop it. The next shade I have is Gravity from Luxy Beauty. This one is Tea Garden from ColourPop. It's a gorgeous like duochrome shade with some green in it. And then this matte green up here is Moss from Luxy Beauty. And I just, I love that matte. Down here, you know, right off the bat, I can get rid of that entire bottom row. I'm not reaching for these shades. Why do I have these shades? Let's just, let's just get rid of all of them. So this one, if I can pick it up. This is Truffle from Luxy Beauty. I don't need it, it's going away. This shade right over here is Wake Up Call from ColourPop. Wake up, you're gone, bye bye. <laughs> This next shade right over here is Bel Air from ColourPop and Goodbye from ColourPop. <laughs> these shades over here, I'm pretty sure these are Viseart shades and we're going to get into that in the next C palette, but I don't reach for them as often, especially these browns. I don't need you random Viseart brown shades, so goodbye. Okay, so moving on to this like purpley kind of row. Let's see, I love this matte shade up here. This is from, where are you from? This is from Makeup Geek. Oh, so this is unexpected. I'm pretty sure I got this in a, um, in I think a boxy charm, but the, sh the shade is actually called Unexpected from Makeup Geek, so that's right there. The next shade over is this gorgeous metallic shade from ColourPop. This is High Strung. I'm gonna hold on to that one. This next shade, I'm not sure. This is Dragonfly from ColourPop. I can live without it. It's gonna go. Ooh, this one looks really pretty. This is Glass Bowl from ColourPop. Of course I'm keeping that one. That's one of the most unique shades, I think, that has ever come out in a single. It's beautiful. Ah. Mwah. Okay, this shade is Goody Two Shoes from ColourPop. I'm gonna hold on to that one. I like having kind of a deeper companion to Glass Bowl. And this last shade is Hashberry from Luxy Beauty. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but oh my god, look at that. Look at that. I need to keep that one. So, we got rid of about almost half of this Z palette, which is pretty good. So, now that we've narrowed that down, I would love to combine this one with some of the shades from my blue Z palette and just make a more cohesive palette that I can reach for. So, so far guys, these are all of the shadows that we are decluttering. Almost, I've already filled up a Z palette. So a lot of browns, a lot of neutrals, but then also some colorful shades over here. So we're doing good so far. My last Z palette, I actually spent a lot of time putting this one together, but I've already kind of picked out parts of it and it could definitely go, or it could definitely use some work. So this is a combination of some ColourPop, Davina, and Viseart shadows. I really hate that the Viseart shades are square. It really makes making palettes with them the hardest thing ever. It's kind of really annoying. And as you can see, the majority of them are neutral and I was holding on to them because for so long I was like, oh, they're expensive. They're Viseart. They're great. I need them. I don't need, I can get rid of half of these shades right now. And that's what we're going to do. Yes. Okay. So first off, I'm going to get rid of the shade right here. This is Zane from Davina. It's a purple. I don't reach for purples. I don't like purples that much. The next shade that I have is Queen of Mean from Luxie, and it's like a blue-green duochrome. I'm definitely going to hold on to that. 
And while we're talking about that, I'm gonna prop this up on some palettes just to get a little bit of a better view going. This light purple is really pretty. It's Esme from Davina. I'll give that one a shot and we'll see if I reach for that one. Whereas this dark purple Petrina from Davina, I, uh, I'm not gonna reach for that, so that one can go. This beautiful shimmer shade right here is Paige from Luxie Beauty. It doesn't, again, it doesn't look like that much in the pan, but when you swatch it, it's got some of these beautiful shimmers in it. So I'm gonna also give that one a shot, even though it's got some purple in it. We have two shades right here that look really similar. The Viseart, and then let me see, I think this is a Divina. Yeah, this is Freya from Divina. So, oh no, I just dug my nail into it, awesome. Would it be a single declutter if I didn't dig my nail into a shade? Yeah, we'll just pat that out. So anyway, given the choice between the Divina and the Viseart, I would go with the Divina. So I'm going to pull out, oh, if I cannot break anything, I'm going to pull that one out and goodbye Viseart. Moving on to the Viseart shades. I'm not going to go through each one because they're not labeled and they're all Viseart because they're square. So right off the bat, I'm going to pull out this white I hardly ever use stark whites ever. Goodbye. This is actually a really pretty nude shade right up there. Let me swatch these two and see which one would actually make a nice do. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this sh shade right up here. We're gonna get rid of this shade. This shade. Oh god, these are really hard to get up. We'll keep that one. I like that one. This one looks a little bit too similar to the one we kept in the top left. So that one's gonna go. I like this like red orangey shade, so that one can stay right there. Yes, I definitely like this row a lot better now. Okay. Moving on to these browns. I'm gonna keep the matte black just because I feel like Viseart does do mattes pretty well, and it's always good to have a good matte black. But all these browns and grays that are matte, I don't need. So that's gonna go. This one's gonna go. This one's gonna go. And I'll just keep the black. Let's see. I like these two shimmers right here, but I don't like this kind of gray matte right up here. So that one's gonna go I don't like this one. That one's gonna go so let me just rearrange these and we'll see what we're left with. Okay, and that's what I've whittled down my Viseart Shadow Collection to. And I definitely like these shades a lot better than all the shades that I had before. I feel like these are also, they're of course very neutral, but I do like these. I feel like this is a good collection to have from Viseart in the Viseart formula. I'm going to keep all of these shades on the bottom. I think... These are all from the Luxie bundle. No, okay, so this one's looks Okay, so we'll go through each one of these shades because they're not all from the same bundle. But a good amount of them are from, I believe, the Divina bundle that was the Midnight Mattes. And those are just beautiful. I will keep those, except for the two purples I think I got rid of. Okay, so let's start over here. This shade right here is like a kind of dark pink. And this is from Divina. This is Suki. I love that shade. We have a matte blood red over here from Davina. This is Lara May. Love that shade as well. This is another green from Davina, Davina <laughs> called Sago. We're going to keep that. This is a matte forest green from Davina, and this is the shade Thisbe. I'm assuming like Pyramus and Thisbe. Fun fact, I was Thisbe in sixth grade. We did a play, and I was the only girl in the class. So we did Pyramus and Thisbe, and I was Thisbe. <laughs> This yellow is from Davina. This is called Darina, and it's a beautiful yellow shade. I'm also really hoping that by decluttering my singles, I'll reach more for these beautiful shades that I otherwise really don't reach for. I've got this gorgeous shimmery blood red from Luxie. It's called One Night Stand. Let me just dip into that. Look at that shade. God, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I've got this orange. Oh, don't drop it. I've got this orange right here from ColourPop. This is actually called Saltwater. It's a gorgeous orange. 
I like to complement that with this matte orange from Davina. This is called Iduna. So this one is matte and that one is shimmery. They're fairly close matched. And then this green from Davina called Chimeral. I think that's how you pronounce it, Chimeral. So we've got a nice bundle of neutrals and a nice bundle of colors. Okay, so these are all of my Z palettes that I'm keeping. I'm definitely going to rearrange all the shades in here now that some of them are quite half empty. One of these is totally empty. I think it's the one up here on the bottom. And I've got all my blues. I've got some of the neutrals that I kept right there. I've got the last palette that we went through right there of the Viseart shades. I've got my little small palette. I'm gonna take this apart and put it back into this palette most likely. I've got my MAC shades and then I've got, yes, my empty palette. So let's go ahead and look at all of the shades that I'm getting rid of right here. It's definitely more than a full Z palette worth. A lot of neutrals, a lot of repeats. I'm really only getting rid of four colors over here on the side. So this is really great. I'm finally cleaning out and taking the first step to making my singles more cohesive and just more usable. All of these are gonna try to get decluttered to friends and family. If not, I'm probably just gonna bin them because singles are so hard to deal with. But if you guys liked this Savage Declutter, I hope you'll give this a thumbs up and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.